I only make 770 a month. I didn't ask to become disabled, but I did. Donna C. knows about hardships and homelessness. I've been homeless a lot in my life. I've lived on the street since I was eight years old. She was living at Tiki Apartments in Tacoma last spring. I came home one night and I had two papers stuck to my door. You know, and one was, oh, hello, we're the new owners. And then the other one was, oh, hello, you have to vacate premises within this 20 days. 20 days and a daunting challenge. Find an affordable apartment. The place she had called home was to be renovated, and that meant residents had to move out. Tiki tenants decided to team up and keep showing up at City Hall, and now Donna sees it paying off. The city's hearing us, and it's really important. For her, it's an emotional night as people line up to tell their story. I'm worried that I won't even be able to find a place. But Chris Herr has to. She's received a 20-day notice to vacate. There is nothing out there under $1,000 a month. Here, it's a familiar frustration for this family, for this combat veteran. 20 days is not enough time. Now, Tacoma City Council is considering this, Ordinance 28559. It would provide tenant protections, like requiring a landlord to give 60 days notice before terminating tenancy and paying relocation assistance in certain circumstances. Our biggest concern is that there are zero exemptions for um, small business property owners. Heather Pierce with the Rental Housing Association of Washington came here concerned about the impact on single family home rental properties. It can really cause hardship and maybe cause them to go out of business. It's a debate far from over and don't Donna wants to be there every step of the way. Now I have a passion to fight for tenant protections here within our city. In Tacoma, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.